Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Fardeen Rangers Football Club. Now, before we get going with today's game, uh, I would like to bring you something different. Um, and we're hoping we're going to do this throughout the season. So, we are going to give you Soccer AM's You Know The Drill Edition. This is us taking part at football training this week. So, the first two stepping up to show us what we're doing is our very own STL with the hashtag, hashtag look good, feel good, play good, and Nadge with the hashtag sickle. Now, today, we're gonna be doing a session that uh, Harry Keel showed Soccer AM, um, and you've got Troy Deeney and Jimmy Bullard, obviously, to take part. Um, the defender has to keep hold of the ball for 15 seconds, and the attacking person has to try and get the ball off the defender for 15 seconds. I've changed it a little bit, so if the attacker gets the ball, obviously he can go and get the ball and have shoot two shots on goal, but the defender's got to obviously keep it for the 15 seconds. After the 15 seconds is up, the attacker will go and try and see if he can get the two balls and take it around. So instead of just shooting one on with the keeper, he's got to now take it, take it around the defender and put it in the net. So that's Nadja's obviously first chance there. Nadja coming for his second chance. And if Naj doesn't put this away, that means SDL was going into the final. And as you can see, he done it. Now SDL was a bit more, uh, he just worried about tackling the ball there. So this is Ryan, hashtag skanking, playing against Jordy Matthews, hashtag fingers. Now this is quite a good contest. Um, apparently all these four that are taking part were undefeated. So obviously it was the best way we put them all together. So Ezra has the clock there, ready to go for the 15 seconds. Ryan's shielding very well there. Jordy trying to get around it, but obviously can't do it. And I don't know what sort of move that is there. I mean, Jordy looks a bit suspect, you know, sort of thing. I don't think that's going to get him anywhere. The only way that Jordy's going to get points here is if he takes the ball on and scores any goals. So here comes Jordy. Can he do anything there? No, second ball in play. What's he going to do? Oh, I'm not sure he meant to do that. Here we go. And Ryan tackles. So the final is now. Ryan versus SDL. The first person who's going to be defending is SDL and Ryan is attacking with the two balls. Let's see who gets the most goals here. As I said before though, SDL was worried more about holding on to the ball than to score goals to be fair. So here's SDL, showing that it's arm day every day. Ryan tries to find his way in it, but SDL's holding, in, holding his own. <laughs> and I don't think he's gonna get anywhere. There you go, as you can see, but they both forgot that they got to do the two balls and play on. SDL doesn't care about this part, apparently. There's one goal by Ryan. Well done, Nash, for taking part. Is he going to get the other ball? Thought he would. Trying to take SDL one. Megs him, whoa! And puts it away too. So for SDL to actually have any chance of winning this game, he's got to put both of these balls away. So here we go. Can SDL get that ball? Can any attacker get this ball? Defenders have been solid this time. SDL manages to win the ball. And off he goes. Now he's got to put these both away. Good feet. Takes it round him. But unfortunately the keeper comes out. Last ball. Can he get a consolation here? Takes it round him. One on one with the goalkeeper. Left foot. But unfortunately puts it wide. Now the uh, boys told me to get involved, um, hashtag caravan, because I carry one every weekend. And uh, obviously because I showed them how to do it and um, adapt to the game, they thought it would only be fair that I play against Jordy. Now, I'm not the strongest guy in the world, I'm going to be uh, truthful, but let's see how I do on this one. Jordy holding his own. But Jordi has quite a, a clever tactic. He just wriggles and spins me about, 
keep spinning me about, spinning about to get me super dizzy. So when I come to the ball, unfortunately I'll fall to the ground and I do nothing about it. Geordie holds his own and he becomes victorious and me as the coach looks silly. But anyway, we enjoyed that training session. Um, do write any comments below if there are any of the uh, United Drill sessions you would like us to try and I'm sure we'll get them to you. So let's go on to today's game. Today's game is going to have something different. Did you see that? Nice little scoreboard on top now. So today's game we've got against Wig and Quill in the quarter-final cup. Wig and Quill, we don't know anything about them. They're in the league below us, but we, as I say, don't know anything about them. So we just had to play our game, play our football, and see how this planned. So the starting lineup today was Jason in goal, Josh Tops, Midi, Tyler, and Nadge in defence. We got right wing. We got Jordy, John, Harry, and George on the left, and then up front, Tom and Charlie Watson. A return for SDL on the bench today and Alex Deacon. So, first two chances by Wigan Quill, but we get the next chance and put it away. Jordy Matthews, 1-0. Quite a bad error there by their defender, so we made that count. Well done, Jordy. So, here comes Josh Tops with a big throw. Flicks it on to Charlie. Cheeky little back heel there. Can Jordy make it two out of two? Yes, he can. To Neil to Fardy Rangers. Brilliant touch there by Charlie Watson. So it's starting to look quite comfortable now. I think this is about 15 minutes in. Um, just trying to get a foot on the ball. So here's myself, John, on the ball. Gets the ball under, plays it to Harry. Harry turns, has a look who's available, plays it to Tops. Tops has a look down the line for Charlie. Charlie has one look up at goal, tries the unbelievable, nearly achieves it, but the keeper puts it over the bar. Great effort there. Here's another throw for Fardy. Jordy to Tom. Tom holds the ball up. Takes it round their defender. Outside to George Plank. Can he make this another game with a goal? Yes, he can. George Plank to make it 3-0. So there you go. Two games he's played for us and he's scored in both of them. Here's a free kick here for Natch. He lines up. Gets a lucky deflection off their wall and it goes in. Faldi and Rangers are now 4-0 up. And that is in within the first half an hour. Things are looking comfortable now. Um, we've still got a long way to go with this video. So, the defender plays it back. Um, the goalkeeper, he panicked. Unfortunately, and George capitalised. 5 0 to Bardeen Rangers. Another goal for George Plank. Quick corner taken here. Charlie has a look up, and it wouldn't be Sunday football without a goal mouth scramble. Tom Watson to Geordie. John, George, Tom. Whoa. It was a bit uh, all over the place there. But Wigan Quill managed to deal with it and then have three play players trying to take out George. Free kick to Fardine Rangers. Another corner by Fardine Rangers. To the back post, to yours truly. John pots it away for 6 0, and that took us to half time. Good start, you can say. Um, we definitely looked the stronger team, as you can see. Um, and we knew that if we got the ball down and carried on playing our football, we could definitely try and double this score. So, corner came in from Charlie. Tom Watson turns, shoots, unfortunately is saved. Six goals and Tom hasn't scored yet as our top goal scorer. I'm sure we have plenty of time for him to get a goal. Ball comes to Harry. Harry looks wide to George. George cuts in, plays a simple ball to John. John turns and plays it wide to Tops. Patient football here by Fardy. Tops plays it to Geordie. Geordie with a one, two, back to Tops. Tops has a look. Plays it to Harry. Harry looks up, has a strike, but a save by the goalkeeper. Good stuff by Fardeen Rangers and very, very patient. So here comes Wigan Quill, but John intercepts, takes it round their midfielder and pots it through to Tom. Tom, one on one with the keeper, looks for George. Oh, oh my word. That was an open goal, right? 
and George couldn't put it away. Here comes Harry with a follow-up, but still, Wigan Quill managed to deal with this. How it stays 6-0, I do not know. So, thrown here by Wigan Quill. Midwinter wins the head, comes to John. John takes one touch, has a look and finds Charlie. Charlie turns, free ball to Tom. Tom, one with the defender, but the defender manages to deal with it. But he puts it out to Geordie. Geordie looks up, finds George, back post, header, brilliant, 7-0. Another goal for George. I think he hurt himself in the process there. Here's a kick by Jason. Didn't have much to do today, apart from the first 10 minutes. It was a very quiet game for Jason. Um, probably how we are like all these Sundays, to be fair. Josh Tops has a look for a ball over to Tom. Tom gets there first and the defender, defender, I'm sorry, the goalkeeper takes him out and that's a penalty. Tom Watson steps up but unfortunately puts it wide of the goal. It's fine though, I'm sure his time will come. Goal kick here by Wigan Grill. Ball is met by their player but John is chasing the ball down. Wins the ball. Sees Tom in the middle, but it goes through to George. George, one touch, shoot, and another save by the goalkeeper. As you can tell with the weather today, is um, it was wet and windy, and oh, and here's another goal. Sorry, Harry Bruford there. Bad mistake by the goalkeeper, easy tapping. Um, actually, we were the only game to be put on today. Um, our pitch holds water very well, so it was good that we actually managed to play some football. Josh Tops gets the ball. Plays it to John. John has a look up. Plays it to Tom. Is this his chance? Yes, it is. Pots it bottom corner. Tom Watson is happy that he has scored 9-0. I'm pretty happy for him too, as you can tell. But we still need to get Charlie on the score sheet. Charlie had a fantastic game, creating a lot of chances. Here comes Tom. Tom has a look for SDL. SDL selfishly puts it to George and he puts it into the back of the net. 10 nil, double figures. Now, my time for playing for Fardy Rangers, we have never got to this high. So, um, if we kept on playing our football, we would try and keep a clean sheet. Ball comes to John, has a look for Charlie though. Nice little sweat, 11 nil. Celebration from Charlie Watson. I think he hurt himself in the process for that too. I think we've got to stop doing celebrations at her. So 11-0 up. Is there any more chances? SDL. Plays the way he's facing. Plays it at tops. Tops with the ball over the top to John. John plays it to Charlie. Charlie, through ball to Tom. Brilliant pass there. Tom puts it away for his second of the game. 12-0. And I believe that's the end of the game. Um, a nice little shout out here from Ev. Shout out Rob Conebury, shout out Ryan Humphreys. It stayed an even number. And thank you very much. Brilliant result for Fardy Rangers and we have made it into the semi-final of the Pete Fidel Cup. Here's all your goal scorers. Um, obviously a very good day for George again. That's seven goals in two games. Geordie with two, Tom Watson with two, Nad, John, Harry and Charlie with one each. Next week we are at a very, very tough game with last year's league winners, Rose and Crown. We will catch you next week.